What is the function of relay? A. Detects abnormal condition. B. Breaks the circuit. C. Both A and B. Time's up. The answer is A. Detects abnormal condition. Function of relay is to check whether the condition is normal or there is any fault while the circuit breaker disconnects the circuit. What type of CT is used in relay circuits? A. Protection CT B. Measurement CT C. Both can be used Time's up! A. Protection CT Protection CT is used in relay circuits as it has a higher saturation point as compared to measurement CT, which would become saturated in case of a fault. Due to this saturation, actual value of fault current would not be detected by the relay. If a system encounters a fault near its distribution side, but the relay at generation side trips, which factor of relay design needs to be configured? A. Reliability B. Selectivity C. Sensitivity Time's up! B. Selectivity Selectivity is the factor which decides which circuit breaker needs to be operated, which in this case should be the one near distribution end. If the current in the system rises due to increase in load, but the relay trips considering it as fault, which factor needs to be adjusted? A. Speed B. Reliability C. Sensitivity Time's up! C. Sensitivity Sensitivity of relay is to trip only when a fault occurs. It should be sensitive above a certain value so it can differentiate between a value and normal slash overload condition. The factor of relay design which says that relay should trip before causing damage to any equipment is A. Speed B. Reliability C. Sensitivity Time's up! A. Speed The speed of a relay means to detect a fault and send a signal to circuit breaker for tripping before any of the equipment starts to get damaged. Which relay should be used in a ring system? A. Differential relay B. Directional relay C. Distance relay Time's up! A. Differential relay In a ring system, the power can flow from both sides, so the fault would also be feeded from both ends, so we need a directional relay that would prevent the flow of power in a specified direction. To detect a fault in a transmission line, which relay is the most suitable? A. Differential relay B. Directional relay C. Distance relay Time's up! C. Distance relay For fault detection in transmission line, we need distance relay as it can also approximate the location of fault, which otherwise would be difficult to locate. Which one is the trip setting for directional relay? A. Only high current B. Low current setting and direction C. High current setting and direction Time's up! B. Low current setting and direction We use directional relay when we need to restrict the flow of current in a specified direction. So we need a low current setting because we do not want even a small amount of current in the wrong direction. Which additional setting do we need in an inverse time relay as compared to definite time relay? A. Current setting B. Time setting C. Curve setting Time's up! C. Curve setting In inverse time relay, along with current and time setting, we need to specify the slope or steepness of the curve. What type of system does not require a directional relay? A. Radio system B. Parallel system
C. Ring main system. Time's up. A. Radial system. In a radial system, power flows in from only one direction, so we do not need directional relay. While in parallel and ring system, power can flow in both directions. Hi, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Comment below and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get updates on whenever we post new content. Thank you and see you next time.